Welcome back to another episode of Beho Reviews in Gaming and Entertainment. Today, it is my honor to take a look back at a game that is dear to my heart when I was growing up. We take a retro review look at Game Arts Grandia 2. Being a huge Sega fan, I only knew a couple of great RPGs like Fantasy Star 3, Lunar 1 and 2 on the Sega CD, and Final Fantasy 3 or 6 on the Super Nintendo. Those were my choices until I jumped to the Sega Saturn and was blown away with the first Grandia, but this had no translation. Finally, Grandia gets its fame through the PlayStation and now people actually know about the famed Sega Saturn game. Later on the Dreamcast, I never thought I would buy a US version of Grandia 2, but thanks to Ubisoft, my wish was granted. Released in December 6, 2000, I played Grandia 2 for the whole month and more. I truly believe that Grandia 2 was the Final Fantasy killer app that Sega needed. Playing the game, I was furnished with some of the best colorful graphics the system had to offer and still offers today. The detail was top notch along with the sound being nothing less than stellar. The voice acting was the first time I ever loved the voices that were used and they really took it seriously. No more Shenmue acting or the famed Resident Evil acting of old. Ryo-san, is everything okay? Don't worry, I'm fine. I want to ask you about that man. Oh, that man. Uh... Captain Wesker, where's Chris? Stop it! Don't open that door! The gameplay is where the game truly excels as there is a timeline at the bottom right telling you when your character or enemy will have their chance at battle. Some moves are quick like normal attacks or where magic spells will take longer. The longer the moves take, anyone can attack that character making them slow down or just canceling their attack altogether. The action, although turn based, is fast and addicting. Strategy is needed to succeed in the battles. Magic and some special moves use full motion video on display for an added punch to the gut on how great the visuals are. No other version than the Dreamcast can implement the smoothness of the full motion video as all other versions pause before they finish the move. The story and character development are spot on. Although not many side quits are available for you on this journey, and pretty much your journey will be moving from point A to B to C, the story keeps you wanting to know what happens next. Don't toy with me! <laughs> I like you. My name is Millennia. Next time we meet, I'll make you mine. <laughs> well, practice up. I'll be back. <laughs> she can fight for a girl. Father, I'll take you up on your offer. I want to find out for myself just exactly what is going on. Because the game and storyline is straightforward from A to B to C, your game will run you about 20 to 25 hours plus to finish. It all depends whether you feel that your team is adequate to fight the next big boss. Looking at a small 20 to 25 hour experience is the only downfall where other RPGs run you about 70 plus hours with side quests. Grandia 2 gets an 8.5 out of 10 for its gorgeous game, story, sound, and great voice acting. The con is it's too short with no motivation to play again unless you enjoy the story so much more to repeat. The game is available on the Sega Dreamcast, PlayStation 2, and PC. That's it for me on this episode of Beho Reviews. Please like and subscribe if you like my videos. Beho out and Greg, take us out of here. Come on, let's go!
Damn.